Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge. It's week 20 and it's a junk journal from an old book cover. Um, Rachel has split her video into two parts, um, making the cover and decorating the inside of the cover and and I think making the new spine um, and she's going to do the signatures next week. I'm going to see how I got on and I might just do the signatures and just do it all at once and then for part two I'll maybe decorate some pages for the inside. We'll see how we go. We might split it and we might not. We'll see how the time goes. Anyway, I've got my old book here. It was pretty much falling apart when I got it. It's uh, a Winnie the Pooh book. It's from 1934. So it's been around the block a few times. Um, it's got lovely little illustrations in it. It's a book of um, poetry. Uh, Winnie the Pooh poetry about Christopher Robin and different wee poems. But um, we're going to use the cover. Um, so the cover is a little bit, I don't know whether it's been water spillage or what. It's also faded a little bit and somebody has also written, it must have been practising their zeros or their O's on the back cover there. Um, so I'm happy to be recycling and giving it a new life because it's really, it would have gone in the bin. So, yeah. So we can set the middle aside for now because we're only interested in the cover. Um, so I'm going to do a hidden spine. But I've got some little bits here that I'm going to be using for my spine. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on the outside. I think like that. And then I'm going to put this on the inside like that yeah yes I'm sure that's what I'm going to do maybe maybe that goes there more first like that and then that will go there and then my I've got my template for doing my three holes down the centre there I've also got my signatures already. I am just absolutely chuffed with how these came out. They are all just old uh, book pages or some new scrapbooking pages, some old music, and I just stitched some um, fabric tags down the, the sides there I'm just it's just I'm thrilled with the these signatures I don't know what it is about them but I'm just I'm just loving them and um, and I think that they will look really quite spectacular I'm going to even use the spectacular word yeah right so that's the aim Let's see how what we're going to do first. So I think first of all, before we put the spine in, we want to cover and make these insides a little bit more appealing. So we can leave that aside just now. I've got a few bits here. These are bits left over from when I made the, um, the signatures. So yeah. Um, I like this because it's got the, the blue in it there. Um, that's actually perforated. Just take that bit off. Yeah, I'm going to just tear. Now, let me give you a wee measurement so that you know. So it's 12 centimetres across and 19 centimetres down which in old money is nearly five inches and seven and a half inches okay I'm just going to 
grab this this blue bit maybe put that there maybe grab a bit of this course we don't need to decorate right up to the edge because that will be getting that will be getting that on it so that's okay we can we can just do nearly to the edge there we are and maybe a little bit of book page up there up the top Something just for down the. Do we need something down the side there? I don't think we do. I think that will be fine. Right, let's think about the back. We'll drop this lady off from the 1700s. We'll just go with them. And. Another little bit of bike. No, I'm thinking that's probably enough. Yeah. Okay. So we can move all the other bits over there and we will glue these down i'll just get the blue magazine So this is, what day is it, Wednesday, finished work for the week and it's also a bank holiday Monday, so I don't go back to work now until next Tuesday. The weather has picked up, that's why I've not made a video since Sunday because we've been out, you know, you have to make hay when the sun shines as they say <laughs> and um, so we've been out and about and, um, and so no videos were made we went to um, a little town that's not so far away from us the other direction from the city called Gifnock and Gifnock has a nice um, refurbished hotel well they don't want to put them underneath there and <laughs> chop their heads off yes it got refurbished and um, it's got a lovely big terrace now like a nice outside um, area with nice comfy tables and chairs and um, and it's dog friendly on the terrace so we went there for a wee change and that was nice just going to get that for a wee bit there we are um here's the ladies here 1760, 1770, 1790. Wow, styles have changed. So, uh, so yeah, so that was nice. We had a wee coffee and a wee bit of caramel shortcake. That was yummy. Right. 
So, what bit would do we do next? Let's think this through. I think I need to grab this bit and this bit. So we want to join these two pieces, but I want to leave. This is quite handy because it's got squares on it. So I'm going to stick this piece for the new spine. And this is my guide to putting in the signatures where my holes are going to go. So I've got one, two, three, four squares. And I want to leave a square. So that leaves me three squares on either side. So I'm going to be attaching this three squares from the edge. I think that's the best plan. Three squares and three squares. And we'll see how we go. And then that just goes on the top. And I'll have to decide whether I want that side or that side. I think that side. Anyway, right, now what's going to be the best thread? The best way of doing this three squares in from the edge and I'm just going to take a pencil just lightly so that I know where I'm putting my glue and I'm going to use my three in one So that was nice. Where else did we go? I'm trying to think. Oh, we went to the Fort Shopping Centre. That's, um, that's where Hobbycraft is. And I went into Hobbycraft and, you know, I don't know why I bother. It's always really quite disappointing. I'm just not feeling it for Hobbycraft just now. Right, so we want three squares and three squares. Oh, I didn't need to go to the edge. The fabric will catch that other bit that I've glued. Right. That's fine. Does it look straight on that side? I don't mind it not being straight because I'm enjoying it being a proper, a proper junky journal, if you know what I mean. And poor Christopher Robin, I think, is going to be hidden a little bit. Three and three here. We'll just do the glue there. You might just see him in no more. I think the man in the second hand book shop, because this book wasn't from a charity shop because it was falling apart too much. The charity shop don't really sell anything that's in such bad condition. So I'm sure this was from the wee book shop, the wee strange book shop. <laughs> and I think he just threw it in. He realised I was buying old books, I think. I can't quite remember, but I think he just said, oh, you can just have that one. Right, now let's just line these up using the, the lines on the mat there. That seems about right. Just smooth it out slightly. There we are. Right, so, and I quite enjoy that this is all oh, thready, although sometimes they're just a wee bit too long. Right, and that's going to go on there, like that. 
So let's do that just now before we start to try and bend anything. That'll give that a chance to dry. Yeah, that looks okay. So let's go for this. Yes, this way. And you can still see them. Be okay. Yep. Right now we want to add a little bit of fabric collage to the front here, and I've got some little pieces here. These are upholstery or curtain. I think it's upholstery. This is from the edge of a a fabric piece. Thought was quite nice, and I just thought we would maybe. Oops, maybe layer up a few wee pieces. Oh no, we bent it too soon. We're just going to have to hope for the best that this looks nice instead of having a, a peak before it's dried. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure about this little piece. And I think I'm going to add something, some words. I think I'm going to add, like, you know, journal or something. I might get a bigger piece of this and put journal on it, stamp it on it. I think I might do that. So I we'll think we'll leave that off just now and we'll do these pieces, although I could put that just there, because there's quite a lot of white there. And I could put a wee button or something there. Right, let's imagine what that's going to look like from the front. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so let's get the, whoops. Let's get this piece down. And we'll stick fibres to our fingers in the process. <laughs> Right, it was about there. And then this piece next. So 
So yes, so the forecast is for sunny days for the bank holiday weekend. So looking forward to that. We will take Millie out to the park or down. In fact, I think we might go down the coast. Might go down the coast. Just pull them off. Don't mind threads, but sometimes there's just too many threads to cope with. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go down the coast. Maybe go down to Troon. It's nice down there. Or go to Helmsborough. We'll see. We'll see what we fancy. Rubbing the threads on my jumper. <laughs> I'll go through to the living room and, and hubby will be like, what have you been doing? And we've got threads everywhere. That happened the other day. I was doing something. I had bits of thread. <laughs> Oh dear. About there. Just a nice wee group of pieces. I should be patient and let everything dry. Right, so I think I'm happy with that. For now, I'm going to set it aside. What time are we at? Oh, 22 minutes. I think we've got time to do the next bit. Right, that's just... Keep a wee bit on. There. Right, so, let me figure this out. The signatures are going to be sewn onto this piece of fabric and then stuck in. So, if I'm sewing them onto that piece of fabric, I need to use this template to punch the holes. Correct. And I've got my three signatures and then they go in, we move the cardboard and they go in to the holes there. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. So I need my... Pokey tool to poke. And I need something to hold for that and that. So I'll we'll just use a couple of clips. So here goes. I can't even see them on that. This is going to probably prove quite tricky. I 
Ay, de mí. Onwards and upwards. And it's going to be a hidden spine anyway, so it doesn't matter if they're not exactly straight. I'm just not sure that this was worth doing. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to get a pen. And I'm going to go through the dots with my fine liner pen because I'll never be able to see them. So let's see if that'll work. if I'll see this next, see that the black, if I, I don't want to be seeing the black, oh well, yeah, they showed up, but maybe now I'm going to have to, oh it's went right through, <laughs> um, I wonder if you will be able to see them once they are sewn in. Oh, now, because some of them are quite big, I went for it, didn't I? I should have just have put a little dot, but no, I had to go like this. <laughs> um, I wonder if I should get a new piece of fabric. I've got something here. This is nice. And you can see through that. Right. Um and I'm not keen, that won't do. Right, I'm going to put you on pause and I shall return with a new piece of fabric. Okay, I didn't have another piece of that, but I've got this, which is pretty much the same. It's just a slightly darker colour. Um, so... Now I'm thinking, will I just use a pencil? And that will do the trick, maybe. Will a pencil show up? Let's try it. If at first you don't succeed. Yeah, that's okay. You can see that. To my holes. Right, well, wait a minute. I didn't do my holes. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm now I'm very confused. Right. 
Oh dear. Right, let's rub them out. Going to rub out, yeah. Nearly. Because I don't want any to confuse me. Right, so I'm trying to think. Is it you do this? See, I've never done a hidden spine before. Maybe I should have watched a video. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought more about this instead of just thinking, oh, how hard can it be? How hard could it be? Right. Take two. And one, two, three. Now, just do the pencil and hope for the best. Hmm. Yes, I can see them enough. Oh, right. So we don't need... What do we need now? We need... The signatures. And I'm going to go in like that. Now, that's what I need. I need my template because I need to do my holes. Just making sure everything is all right. We don't need that envelope just now. Okay. Just clip this and clip this, and then right, I'm going to write top on that so that I do it the right way right <laughs> next time. Right, and then we're following this line here. I'm going to put one there. And then that line there. don't have ready my thread and my needle and then that gets sewn on to there right I'll be back okay I'm back and I sneakily sewed in two of the signatures the first two and I've got a third to do on camera I didn't want <laughs> to make a fool of myself and um and try right away. I had already made too many mistakes in this video to have a go at the signature sewing and then not be able to do it. So it worked out okay um, and I've, um, I'm in the swing so I'm going to do this third one and, um, and hopefully this will go uh, the same uh, way as the other two did because the minute you switch on the camera the camera gremlins, I think, always get you. <laughs> so we go into the centre and we're using our template 
to push the holes. So we're on there. Well, let's, let's, let's clip them first. Let's just use some paper clips to clip. Of course, right away I forget a crucial step. Right, that's this. And we've got the top, so we should be okay. And we're going to put a hole there. Watch your fingers. And then one there at the centre. And this one here. Right. Shouldn't need that anymore. And we shouldn't need that anymore. I've got my wax thread. And I am going to go into the centre. And then we look for the centre hole, which has just got the little pencil mark there. And we're going to go through there. It's quite tricky to do it that, so that you can see what I'm doing. Right, and then we're going to go to either end, we will go through and see if we can get that pencil mark there and then into the hole at the top. And we pull it fairly tight, then we're going to go back through the middle, careful not to grab the the thread. So back through the middle and through the middle hole in the fabric. There we are. And then we are up through the bottom hole. Where's the bottom hole? It's there. It's there. And then we tie a knot. But first of all, we will make sure that you won't be able to see that. It's quite close, the colour of thread. Anyway, you can have to take my word for it that they're there. And we're just going to tie a double knot there in the centre. And just trim them off. And this is where you find out you've sewn the last one in upside down. <laughs> oh, I hope not. No. Phew. Phew, we're fine. Right, so that's them all in. We've got a nice mixture. Right, so we don't need them anymore. And now we are going to reach over and get our cover. And that goes in like that. I think we're nearly there. That's nice. I like this. It's nice and um, shabby chic looking, junky looking. That's a proper, proper junky journal. And that just gets glued in there like that. So Yes, let's just, uh, where will we put the glue? Let's put it in the middle first and then work out from there. Let's 
just do a little bit down there, a little bit down there. Right. Make sure it's all upside down. Nope, everything is fine. I think we already double checked. And we want to get this there. really know what I'm doing next. I think maybe I'm going to put glue down this side bit. So just in there. And then we're just going to swing it round. And do the same on this side. So, what do we think? Phew. No, now I'm thinking because it's opening like that. Is that normal that you have a big space? Have I made a too big a space in between? I'm not sure. I don't think it matters, does it? Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Oh. I am absolutely loving it and I'm going to do something else to the cover for sure do something else to the cover and I want to add some of the illustrations and the poems from the book onto some of the pages for sure as well and, um, and maybe we'll find something nice to wrap around as a wee closure. But I think we'll leave that for part two for uh, Rachel to do next week's challenge. She's uh, going to do her signatures. But I just felt I just wanted to get it all done in the one go. And um, oops. There's seepage. Too much glue. Wanted to make sure that's stuck. There, that's fine. I don't know, me and glue it just seems to get everywhere. But yes, I think um, she's going to do her signatures next week as part two of the challenge. But what I'm going to do is do a little bit of decorating and adding some nice bits and bobs um, to it. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, if you've stuck with me, Thanks very much for watching. A thumbs up would be great. And um, I hope you managed to uh, to maybe pick up some sort of uh, hints and tips from that. Like, um, you know, don't use pen on your fabric <laughs> because it seeps through. That would be not tip number one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave it there and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.